ओके वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग सो यस्टरडे वी हैव स्टार्टेड अबाउट द एडप्टेशन ऑफ द फाइट्स सो आई थिंक वी हैव सीन अबाउट द गैमेटोफाइटिक प्लांट बॉडी सो हाउ दिस गैमेटोफाइटिक प्लांट बॉडी इज देयर देन सेकेंडली एज देर आर द कैरेक्टर्स फॉर गैमेटो गैमेटोफाइट डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द स्केल्स राइजॉइड्स देन गैमेटेंजिया कैरेक्टर्स ऑफ स्पोरोगोनियम वी हैव सीन द सम ऑफ द एग्जाम्पल्स एज लॉन्ग डे प्लांट्स शॉर्ट डे प्लांट्स न्यूट्रल प्लांट्स आर देर देन नाउ देर आर द सर्टन लिमिट्स ऑफ इकोलॉजी ऑफ ब्रॉयफाइड्स वी हैव सीन ऑटो इकोलॉजी सीन इकोलॉजी ऑटो मीन्स ए सिंगल जेनेरा और स्पेसिज इट इज ओनली फाउंड एट द स्पेसिफिक एरिया इट इज नॉट फाउंड एनी वेयर सो इट इज कॉल्ड एज ए ऑटो इकोलॉजिकल स्टडी सीन इकोलॉजी मीन्स सम ब्रॉयफाइड्स आर द कॉमन फॉर एग्जाम्पल फिन एरिया मॉस सो इट इज फाउंड एवरीवेयर सो जनरली इट इज रिलेटेड विद द सीन इकोलॉजिकल स्टडीज देन सक्सेशन सो एनी बेर एरिया डेवलप इन टू द वेजिटेशन इट इज कॉमनली कॉल्ड एज द सक्सेशन सो ड्यू टू द सर्टन एनवायरमेंटल कंडीशन एंड द फैक्टर्स ऑफ द हैबिटेट सपोज द सर्टन सॉइल कैरेक्टर्स आर देयर अदर्स आर देयर सो यस्टरडे वी हैव सीन अबाउट द डिटेल डिस्कशन about this one so remaining part is there the recognition of different communities we have seen so this type of the species several species of bryophytes they grows uh, they uh, develop in the community so different species like you see the here examples like brachythecium then bryum capillary then ceratodon then cyphia these are mosses then prolania it is the leafy uh, hepatiki then hypnum is the moss so all they are showing the specific type of community is there containing special species then bryophytic uh, in bryophytic communities the species shows they compete with each other then they react on the one another and possess the different morphological and the growth rate and they survive with the each other so these are the four important characters for this one then in relation to this the edaphic factors are there edaphic that is the the related to the soil characters are there suppose the moist soil and the humus these are the major uh, requirements of the bryophytic plant then rocky habitats are also there so moist soil generally it is the and the humus uh, these are of the primary importance and fair as uh, there is the humus uh, layer uh, of a organic matter it is generally present at the top of the soil profile so therefore as we are knowing the decomposers play the important role in this and therefore the uh, formation of this uh, humus is there dicranella cerevisculata is the one good species it is generally found at the acid pit so, so this soil or pit pit that is the totally decomposed of matter then tetraphis moss is there it is found on the decayed wood the humus loving mosses uh, they are generally therefore called as a saprophytic type of the in character the microorganisms uh, generally also found along with uh, this one then secondly the calcareous soils are rich in the calcium carbonate and therefore this type of soil it shows the presence of some members like tortulaceae and amly stagiaceae then nitrogen containing or basically in the some regions the indicator of plants are there suppose the copper is there so in the, at this space uh, region generally members of the splachnaceae so general these members are commonly found where the nitrogen and this copper content is more a uh, good example the, that is the nitrophilus as lunularia cruciata so lunularia it is commonly seen at the woody or the at the himalayan region or mount abu then there are there is the crescent shaped jimmy cup is there that is half moon shaped right already we have seen the some of photographs then uh, secondly as there is a lime is present so sphagnum moss is there sphagnum shows 
the ph of the water generally it is the acid and therefore few mosses they are to be reported also as a so in salty conditions so grimia and tortella they are showing the epiphytic in nature where the uh, acidic soil water is there then there is there are the many authorities are there who has worked on the ecology of bryophytes so jones et al in 2007 published the an article in the journal annals of botany volume number 99 uh, on the cryptogams ecology so they have given the weightage to the as the potential to meet the bryophytes in the due to the biochemical changes and the climatic characters are there so here the literature with reference to the some species are there so they shows the carbon gain and this uh, particularly characteristics secondly there are the certain cold biomes are there or the tropical rain forest are there here they shows the paramount determinants are there on biochemistry paramount that is the certain observations are seen so here you just see so what is the biomass is there so in relation to the uh, occurrence so first one is there contribute the sustainably to uh, above the ground of the biomass so above surface shows the more host nitrogen fixing bacteria providing the major soil uh, nitrogen input then uh, uh, control of soil chemistry and nutrition through the accumulation of re calcitrant polyphenols and throughout the uh, generally they show the soil and the vegetation uh, with reference to the hydrology and the temperature so water is abundant secondly they promote the erosion and also prevent uh, it biological crust in the desert area so crust formation is there secondly they provide the staple food to the arthropods are there and the important uh, uh, feedback to the soil and the biota is there secondly as the with reference to this there are the some recognition of different uh, growth forms yesterday we have seen but just i am repeating so these growth forms are related according to the these scientists uh, grimming ham and birse or robertson in uh, 1957 1950 so i think it is having a period of about 70 years ago but uh, according to their study the cushions turps then canopy farmers mats and the whelps are there so what is cushion so it include two types the large cushion and the small cushion large cushion shows leucobryum type genera and small cushion shows grimia type of the moss both are mosses turps generally the tall turps are there so polytricum communi it is the common then short turps bryum argicium and open turps uh, are there so they shows the polytricum so like this one canopy neum moss is there then mats are there they shows the rough mat smooth mat then thread like mat so urine uh, uh, uri uh, urichium then secondly urichium perivet so different species of same genus then frulania tamariski found at the smooth mat and fifth one is there there are the whelps so rhizoid free webt are there so hylocomium is the generally seen in this region so these six categories the they shows pendulous uh, types of the forms pendulous that is the hanging like the pendulum of the wall clock is there so in the japan some japani bio bryologist they have represented this pendulous condition example barbella then pseudo barbella and flori bandaria so these are the main genera found at the pendulous then there are the smooth mats are there so urichium is the common and the thalloid mats shows the conosepalum so conosepalum is also the good example which is showing the dendroid forms of the thamnium it is the moss is there so some these conditions you remember certain these ecological uh, recognition of the different growth forms of the bryophytes 
secondly uh, in this uh, characteristics we have to consider about the different these uh, pendulous forms uh, along with that of the uh, they are applying quantitative methods uh, in describing the vegetation of bryophyte so quantitative means here we have to count the number or quantity so according to hope simpson in 1941 jenny in 1941 cornish pairing in 1954-1959 so they have given the vegetation uh, according to hope and simpson the vegetation uh, of the english uh, chalk uh, grassland so grassland area is there and it shows the specific type of the nature uh, formation is there right so you just uh, consider for this with particular emphasis on the bryophytes then and the lichens are there so in their paper published in journal of ecology so they have shown that the study generally it gives the as per the uh, no indication of the size of the area uh, and the survey but as it shows the this grassland shows the major genera like acrocladium uh, cryptothesium or the physicians minimum you remember the some genera which are reported there and these different uh, conditions as the pendulous forms then smooth mat forms thalloid mat forms dendroid forms rough mat uh, forms are there so all these they are shown by the uh, grimingham and the brannard then in after this one here we have to go for the studying the succession process and the time required for the completion so succession is nothing but the process of development of vegetation involving changes of the species and the community with the time so it is called as a succession so as we have seen the different soil factors are important climatic factors are important after 20 years 25 years study 30 years the different species are reported so there are some good examples are there the elota fulania uh, nicara then anomodon so some liverworts like porella they are also reported in this certain uh, region is there uh, there and basically very interesting part is there as you, you are knowing suppose uh, there are the uh, formation of the uh, any community is there so it requires 100 to 120 years for the completion so this is the one good part is there then studying the habitat conditions are there so in relation to this habitat condition their association is important so as the bryophytic vegetation on the branch or the trunks trees is affected by mainly the daily movement of the sun and availability of the sunlight then direction of the wind then uh, availability of water or the humidity water is there moisture then nutrient supply and the acidity uh, is the important factor of the particular each and every area is there second thing is there the some mosses like grimia they show the halophytic community because and the hypnum these two are uh, reported potia is there then uh, genus uh, uh, tortula is there so like this one so they are to be found to be salt tolerant and it is shown by the scientist Shackleti in 1961 uh, from uh, 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 their areas. So it, it is published in the Bryologist uh, volume number 64. Then we are knowing the uh, uh, Polytricum hygrometrica is there or the other mosses are there so they shows the there is having the polytricum juniperum polytricum piliferum then uh, they shows the with uh, cladonia uh, uh, in the lichens are there so this is the association right one secondary succession is observed by the bard in 1965 uh, in the usa and they have described that the species present in the relative abundance in the initial stage 
like the uh, 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 phycometrium, then pluridium, vesia, these are the mosses. Some leafy liverworts, they are also reported in the certain areas like the Nardia or the Scapania. Right, so physiographic climax community, it is generally studied in the different areas. Uh, in relation to climatic factors are there, so we have to consider these four five points. Suppose the light is there, so rocks and mosses communities growing, uh, they are exposed to the light. Uh, then uh, in the caves, uh, basically low light intensity is there, whereas there are the certain areas, shade tolerant uh, areas are uh, there or the basically some examples like the sheltrolin it is the uh, uh, thamnium is the moss is there so it is uh, generally found in this area then temperature is also the same uh, character so temperature uh, it shows as there is in the maximum temperature up to the 52 degree celsius some mosses like the barbula tortula they are generally uh, grow in the high temperature. There are some river words are also report, reported minus at minus uh, freezing uh, temperature 40 degree Celsius. So Fulania tamariski, then Gymnometrium and the Tilidium. So these species are reported. So you uh, note uh, these uh, points are there then about the water conditions we are knowing so water is important so for the moisture surrounding generally water in the each area in our india we are in the rainy season so mosses are commonly found in rainy season up to the month of december because rain is later on uh, going to reduce so therefore uh, there are the these different conditions are there already we are knowing Rixia flutans, it is uh, uh, called as aquatic species uh, because uh, then secondly corticolous moss uh, generally absorb the uh, moisture about the sphagnum absorb moisture 16 to 25 times for in, uh, uh, as per its own dry weight then secondly some bryophytes adapted uh, uh, therefore to the, this condition so they are to be called as a drought resistant features are there they survive in the drought then linularia tortula then anno uh, tangium these are the common species are there right so you remember uh, this uh, good example then in relation to edaphic factors already we have seen then biotic factors are there biotic that is the human beings disturbance are there so in each ecosystem uh, it is to be studied very important because nowadays we are knowing the urbanization is there or road creation is there or the region creation of the any locality is there so therefore there is a disturbance of this uh, this bryophytic vegetation so competition and the generally having the uh, uh, these conditions so pioneers uh, generally they are to be disturbed some are also found on the uh, sand dunes are there then uh, as we are knowing the bryophytic cell they show the scales are present so which helps in the vegetative propagation so uh, more than rhizoids the scales uh, we are knowing in rixia marquensia they are present but in other scales are absent and toserati scales are absent bryophyta bryopsida mosses scales are the absent and therefore they are the small sized violet in color and thocyanin pigment uh, is there so therefore they having the specific role is there it also helps in the process of photosynthesis so many characters are there so in some mosses uh, genera bryophyte mucilage hairs or the mucilage papillae is there so good examples are spirocarpus blasia Medgeria, Marquensia, Lunularia, the mucilage hairs are reported. So, Spirocarpus mucilage hair, it developed on the ventral surface of the thallus near the growing apex. So, in Blasia, they are found on the both uh, surfaces of the thallus, like other genera, Calabrium is there, Diplophyllum uh, are there. So, they show the mucilage hair. Then, Paraphyla is there. So, it is 
uh, very minute delicate appendage uh, in various forms in the different example for example in hepatic trichocolia is there bryopsida uh, plagiothesium is there or specifically uh, some uh, moshes are there uh, ectocothesium uh, it is uh, commonly seen so remember all these uh, characters for the uh, this character then uh, while going to this the major factors affecting the sexuality it is very important so sexuality that is gametangia formation and 3d archegonia so here the some factors includes photo period temperature then carbohydrate uh, then nitrogenous substances ph and hydration of the medium then growth regulators all these factors affect the sexuality in the bryophyte and uh, as still they are having the important role in the sexuality formation same thing for the photo period is also important photo periodism generally uh, it is based on the physiological response of an organism to change in the length and the size of the uh, bryophytes are there secondly the nature of photo period on the sexuality as we are studying so number different photo periodism are there uh, the work published in the american journal of uh, uh, botany in 1925 by van so they have shown that the photo period control the gametangia initiation in hepatica and the anthocerotic and bryopsida whereas uh, they exist uh, in the long day plants short day plants and the day neutral plants and therefore this type of study is also the having the important the note on the uh, a note on the regeneration of bryophytes generally related with uh, this one then some examples like uh, uh, several bryophytes like marchensia they show the gametophytic and sporophytic stages there then we are knowing aposporia and apogamy is there aposporium uh, means uh, the regeneration of gametophyte from the sporophytic cell without formation of spores it is called as aposporia and uh, apogamy means the regeneration of sporophyte from gametophyte without formation of gametes it is called as apogamy along with this jimmy uh, are present so they present in the jima cup and they generally acting as a vegetative reportive organ but still after drying condition they again develop so therefore it is called as the regeneration so this is our today's lecture uh, we will go to the next part in the next lecture okay thanks to all